Sure. So today's guest is Soup RS. He is an old school RuneScape content creator and the creator of my latest obsession, the Gillinor Games, which <laughs> is an incredible challenge based RuneScape reality TV series with some impressive production and creativity. Uh, he's also got some hilarious videos about obscure money making methods, hardcore Iron Man, and some very interesting guides as well. So, welcome to the show, Soup. Uh, how are you doing this afternoon? I am fantastic, guys. Uh, thanks for having me on today. I'm super stoked to talk about anything and everything. And um, yeah, happy to be here. All right. Yeah, I'm honestly curious about how to make money because uh, you've got a, a bunch of those movies, like the <laughs> usual ways of making money. And you should see, I'm I'm sort of a poor guy right now, and mm -hmm. I need the guide for like how to make money if you're a total noob with no levels and have no yeah. no money to start with. So if when that guy's coming out, let me know. Or if you've got any yeah. any one one idea that you could throw at me right now i'd love to hear it i've got a couple of of secret methods in the vaults that <laughs> I, I might maybe throw a couple of throw a couple it. of bonds my way you know maybe i can share it with you guys well that's <laughs> <laughs> we'll see that's we'll right. see <laughs> well it's great to have you on man um thanks man yeah really really surprised to hear from you i wasn't expecting it as um really surprised to hear that you were a fan back in the day uh, yeah yeah definitely good to hear um i remember watching your um your daily mail stuff a bunch way back. oh <laughs> um and then of course you know you had a bunch of the skits back in the day too so it's uh it's it's cool to cool to talk to you guys yeah when when did you start playing runescape uh i was kind of a late guy to the game i started playing like 2008 oh um yeah, which honestly late. is it feels early technically do i go to a lot of new <laughs> players these days it's like geez like 14 years ago like geez but nope. you know to a lot of players <laughs> they started like 2005 2006 yeah right? so yeah I, I knew about the game mid 2000s only started playing late 2008 or so oh okay when did you start with the video making th uh, stuff or when did you actually start watching videos when did you start getting into the videos yourself uh i started watching runescape youtube stuff 2009 and okay. then 2010 is when i started making videos um just for fun you know, obviously back then, nobody really got into it with the idea of, I'm going to make this my full-time job, you know? Oh, yeah, definitely uh, not. Yeah. <laughs> so I just loved the idea of producing stuff and people can like and you see your views go up and you see interaction, which mm -hmm. I thought was awesome. So um, immediately downloaded like the first ever Camtasia studio version. Oh, and, oh uh, man, throwback. Yeah. Camtasia, yeah. dude, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I had like black bars on my videos and I had like a laptop mic or I forget what mic I had. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I, I think you guys all have, you guys have probably had videos that you had that you unlisted or deleted because you were oh, yeah. embarrassed. But now it's like, man, I wish I still had them so I could see, you know, truly yeah. what the first videos yeah. were like. That's what I was actually going to ask you. Oh, like, God. do you have some of those old videos still? It sounds like you've deleted most of them. I, I have... Actually, a lot of my early videos are still up. I deleted some of them, and they were mainly due to copyright reasons because I, had, like, you <laughs> no, know, no. I had a bunch, bunch of like popular songs on yeah, there back in the day. Pretty much so everybody like, did. music videos. Yeah, yeah, like I exactly, and and but I have a couple of early videos, and my, my, some of my earliest videos were actually PK commentaries of all things, right? Yeah, and nice. I'm wearing like. I'm wearing like my PK gear is the cheapest gear. Like, I don't know why, but I'm wearing like a blue D hide body, like a dragon long sword, a, me a rune med helm. And that's my gear that I brought out to PK. <laughs> Afraid and I would go stuff, out. Right? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, and I'm like, dude, like, oh, this is so exciting. But that, that, I don't know. That's what made it fun back in the day. And my commentary is yeah. so bad, but <laughs> hey, that, that's where it started. So I can't, I can't even be mad. That's great. What so what uh, did you yeah. feel like you were really starting to catch your catch your stride and get fans and and becoming big? Was there any one yes. point or? Um, I, there was a, a decent amount of growth back in like 2011 through 2012, where I, I actually teamed up with a bunch of other YouTubers who who still a couple of them make videos. Framed, mm -hmm. um, Sir mm -hmm. Goody, uh, Unreal's RS, who doesn't make videos anymore, but we all made Rev Cave oh, videos. Where we we would just go into yeah. Rev Caves and and PK together and do shenanigans around the game. And <laughs> there was a slight growth there, which was fun, but it was never anything where it's like, we're all going to get massive off this, you know? Right. But then of course, old uh, school RuneScape yeah. came out and it changed the entire game. So it's, uh, yeah, thankful, thankful that it came out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have you touched like RuneScape 3 at all since, uh, <laughs> since old school came out i can't say i have been man. something that you, yeah no <laughs> i i don't blame you at all <laughs> it's, you know rootscape 3 is tough because i i actually think it's a cool game especially what it's turned into right i think the graphics are cool i think the quest system on the game is awesome i i think 
uh, they've made it into a good game. But for me, whenever I look at that game, I, I look at the game that killed pre EOC, which is my favorite era yeah, of the game. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I know it's yeah. me just being petty and annoying, but I'm like, I, I always just think in the back of my head, like, damn you, dude, like you took away like my favorite oh, year of the game. Oh, not at all. Yeah. And it's like, you're, I, you're, yeah. Yeah. I just like, sorry, I just don't, I don't want to touch you. I'm sorry. So it's, I'll stick with old school, <laughs> <Right>. you know? <laughs> Right, right. I mean, that's that's the thing. I think you're you're preaching to the choir here, just because mm-hmm. you know, RuneScape Three is by no means a bad game. It's just mm-hmm. not the game that we grew up with. It's not the game we remember. It's not the game that we yep. fell in love with. They just kind of yep. they took it and they made it into something else completely. Yeah, exactly. So it hurts, but I'm I'm happy it's there. I'm happy it's it's still a game. I just I just won't be touching. Yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's just not for me. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. <laughs> So are there any one like uh, video makers or content makers that you would say are inspirations for your videos, even outside of like RuneScape or Machinima? Is there, like, do you, mm-hmm. any, any certain people that you kind of look to, to for your own content? Well, back when I first started, I, I know it's not, it's not cliche, but I, I started watching a lot of Nightmare RH videos. Mm-hmm. Um, just because oh, wow. nice. I, I thought he was hilarious. I, I him screaming and chainsawing his door in half and like you, you know that, that that we're all kids that, that content's really funny and everything and um i watched great, a lot dude. of his yeah. stuff yeah and then um a little bit later on you know chris archie's videos as well you know his like clips channel and his top tens and everything were were super inspirational mm-hmm. and stuff like that um the thing is like i watched a lot of skit youtubers back in the day too but i never like you know like way early back you know the skychi days and stuff like that um oh, but yeah, i never yeah. Yeah. i never like considered doing skits myself uh just because i was like yeah. i'm not creative enough for it um but honestly i i try to watch everything runescape related so really? any but mainly any like semi i guess known youtuber i've probably watched uh, before so oh, I, I try to take inspiration uh, from from kind of everywhere yeah. you know something i wish i did more is um watch kind of like find out who's out there and like kind of get mm-hmm. to know them and, and try to promote people. Even like the newer guys, I, I kind of regret doing that. Like I, I was just too busy with other things, but mm-hmm. it's good that you kind of mm-hmm. keep an eye on everybody in the, uh, in the community and see who's, who's yeah, out there. It, it's interesting because it, it, these days it seems like somebody can blow up in like a, like a snap of a finger, right? You'll, right. you'll it seems like a year yeah. goes by and all of a sudden there's a new RuneScape YouTuber who just hits 100k subs, which is like crazy because <laughs> not even like five years ago, if some, if a RuneScape guy hit above 100k, it's like, dude, wow, like you're on the Mount Rushmore now. Exactly, Congratulations. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. now we got, we got dozens of people on, on 100k, a yeah. lot of them hitting 300, 400k subs soon, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. So it, it's it's testament to how strong the, the viewership and community of the game is. Yeah. I, I should probably yeah, pick your crazy. brain, honestly. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we, by the way, so it. we we talk over each other like all the time. That's pretty much our our stick for the, the this no podcast worries. is us talking over top of each other. So <laughs> you, you get used to it after a while. Mm-hmm. But sounds I was, good. <laughs> I was curious, um, and I'll let Kyle ask the next question because I've been talking this whole time. But um, is there any video makers that we should be watching now? Like even small time, not small time. I don't want to say small time. It's kind of like disparaging to them. But is there any way that we should be watching now that might not be as big good question um we've got poison potion uh who's one of my favorites he's got a a hardcore iron man series where he's like he can only do dangerous things on it (laughs) i'm not sure if you guys if i'm not sure if you guys are into you know hardcore iron man or iron man stuff but his production value is really good really enjoy watching him uh we've got a new guy called tasty osrs he's recently just gotten uh, a, a big following and um, he has funny, just like main content videos, which I really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the, the thing about YouTube these days is that you'll watch somebody's videos, right? And then, of course, you have the entire recommended section on the right side. So whenever I, I watch a video, I just I look through the recommended and it's like, hey, here's a RuneScape video from somebody I don't know. I'll, I'll <laughs> click on the video and it's like, OK, I have a, I'm subscribed to him now. Like, nice. <laughs> There's a new, a new guy on my feed. So yeah, that's great. It's, um, it, yeah, there's such a huge variety these days. I, I wish I could could list them all, but there, there's too many, you know. Because honestly, the, the main guys I still watch are just the guys I've been watching for a long time. You know, Framed and I, um, you know, grew up on YouTube together pretty much, and he's the guy I still watch immediately every single time there's a new video out. So it's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's it's great to have so many people still producing content. Absolutely. Um, you've been pretty active with like, cause like I was watching through some of your videos earlier and it's mm-hmm. like, it's all really well done, really well edited stuff. And you're pretty active, you know, you're putting mm-hmm. videos out every few weeks. 
Yeah. Um, is, it, is this something of like a full time job? Is it just like a, a hobby for you right now? Yeah. Like, so would you it, categorize it as? Yeah, it's a full time thing now. I, I a couple of years ago, I, nice. I was only doing I was doing mainly Twitch, right? I thought I thought Twitch would be the way to go forward. But growing up on YouTube, you, you become used to the ability to edit and, and think out a video over time uh and and you know come out with the best final product whereas twitch is like you have to be entertaining for five six hours straight and and, and <laughs> yeah, talk to your yeah. chat interaction and while it is really fun right a lot of people prefer that i prefer the backseat you know video route where i can process out a video edit it out put it out and stuff like that uh and the uh, biggest thing honestly that's made a lot of people be able to go full time is the, is the sponsorship wave that's happened over the past year there's like uh, a lot yeah, of man yeah. management companies that have come out and started managing RuneScape YouTubers, and they're offering sponsorships from pretty well established companies. And these companies are paying to have their ads on the videos, um, which is huge, mm -hmm. right? Because that can mean that that can mean you're you can go from part time to full time YouTube, which which is really really big. Right, right. And the reason right. behind that is because RuneScape, the RuneScape uh, age of the viewers is like single males ages 21 to like 29 right and and they all have disposable right. income to, to use on these products and, and these companies are like Heck yeah we'd love to advertise like let's yeah. advertise manscaped ball shavers like of course we yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like that. yeah so these companies the yeah right? these companies are like dude this is an untapped market so now we've got mm -hmm. the, the youtube scene rolling with all these ads and it used to be back in the day i mean I, you guys probably know how it was where if you like if somebody yeah. had a, a sponsor on a video like oh, you go yeah. you were you were oh, criticized oh, yeah. Like, how, yeah yeah they're like how yeah. dare you like what are you doing selling out to all these companies but now it's like ah you know what you know we, we understand you know we'll, we'll listen to your raids advertising yeah. we'll listen to this advertising go for it <laughs> something like that right. so it, it, it's 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 really cool uh, to see how yeah. the community for the most part has changed their opinion on everything yeah, that's that's good. I mean, I'm glad I, you remember that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was it was rough time for us to make money. There, it was oh, they yeah. would just expect people to like like Machinima to give you like all kinds of bank, and they really didn't. Yeah, so it's, it's it's nice to see that oh, they'll, no. they'll let you actually yeah. advertise and and make a living from it. Uh, as the a great first thing ever. Yeah, yeah. I'm really happy to be doing it. I remember the, the first ever advertisement I did. I did like a, a hat company advert. It was like fifty dollars. They're like, we'll give you fifty bucks for a thirty second ad segment. <laughs> It was like my most disliked video ever, dude. At back in the day, I was like, I was like, man, you guys are brutal. Oh, no. <laughs> took like took like two and a half oh, years no. off of advertisements, but luckily that was that's the past, and we're yeah. we're good now. So yeah, good, good. Yeah. When uh, when do you think you would uh uh like when did it start becoming like a full time job? Like, did it kind of transition into being that, or is there like a hard point where you're like, okay, I'm making this into like a career for myself? Yeah, so I always wanted to do it as like kind of a full time thing. I started in high school, right? And I've always been, I was always mm -hmm. like, I mean, of course, I started out just doing it for fun. But then when Old School RuneScape came out, a lot more views started happening on YouTube. I, I, I don't know if you guys yeah. know, I, I put out a bunch of quest guides and those like, I got my first ever YouTube paycheck and I'm like, this is so cool. I want to do this forever. Uh -huh. um, right. yeah. But my parents were very like, you have to get your degree from college, you have to go get your undergraduate degree. Yep. So I, I, I went to college for four years. I got that out of the way. I hated it. I mean, some things were some things were good, but I'm like, dude, there's only one thing I want to do right now. And then yeah, as soon as I, yeah. I graduated, I, I transitioned into trying to do it full time. And I've been Damn. surviving since. What's your degree in, by the way? What, uh, yeah, what's your degree? I got a um, double major uh, oh, wow. in German and um, broadcasting, uh, communications broadcasting oh, focus. Wow. Uh, so yeah, like TV production, audio, all that stuff. Oh, so um, you know what you're doing then? You're you're a professional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I let's just I got the degree. I'm I'm not a professional. We'll put it like that. <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting paid for it. It looks professional. Yeah. That's professional in my mind. So you're you're yeah. Golden. <laughs> the the degree was like very focused in like TV production and like radio <laughs> production. Mm -hmm. Was never into radio. I thought I, I just kind of bored me a little bit. And TV production was like you know being behind all the, the the big electronic stuff where when there's like a newscast going on and, and figuring out all that stuff but I, I liked the whole you know doing all the editing and, and producing on my own and stuff like that so yeah. it helped a little bit i'm not going to say it didn't help but th this is better <laughs> <laughs> i i have to ask why uh why the german double major i actually grew up speaking german my dad's from germany oh. so I, I i grew up bilingual wow. my dad yeah so i speak german with my dad uh, english with my mom 
And my dad was very like, you have to get a German degree. And I'm like, but dad, <laughs> yeah, so I, yeah. and it's funny because I went into, I went into my freshman year, I, I placed like four classes higher. No, I don't want to brag, obviously, but uh, in, in my, in German. And I, I got my, I was yeah. finished with my German degree two years in, but he also wanted me to study abroad in Germany. And I studied abroad for wow. a semester and Nice. Originally, nice. at the time, I, it was only my minor, right? But they said for you to go abroad, you have to switch to a major, and I was like, I hate you guys. So I, I ended up, <laughs> oh my God. I, I ended up having to switch to a major and having to do it for another two years. But it, it, I think it was worth it. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I've been meaning to learn German myself. My dad oh, cool. is also German, and yeah, we've got a family up in there. But I've I've never visited. I know like two words in German, so I would not <laughs> last a day. Uh, so it's an intense maybe language maybe go back to school for that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's uh <laughs> it's the uh the, the aggressive language i'm sure there's a lot of memes i know about it. i know yeah. so yeah I it's funny that. yep <laughs> people talking about what uh was like a fire truck in uh, yeah in german or is like ambulance wagon or yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah or like <laughs> butterfly is like schmetterling which is like just very intense <laughs> uh oh god yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, it, it, it's a barbaric language, but it, it's fun to know. Uh, it's fun to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> literally a barbaric language. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanna I wanna pivot a little bit to the mm -hmm. you know the stuff that you're you're actually making on your channel, and sure, uh, you yeah. know, like I was saying in the intro, I absolutely adore you know what you've done with uh, uh, the Gilnor games. It's yeah. really really impressive. Like thanks. But the thing that I was kind of thinking back to was if you remember like the bum shows. Bum Bum 007, uh, of course. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. I'm so glad you know mm -hmm. the, the Rune Factor series and like Rune all of that was heavily yeah. scripted, of course. Of course. But like you've got like you've got like the actual real like is mm -hmm. this is like if they made it a real thing and I was like, holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> like where has this been my whole life? It's, <laughs> um, it's favorite thing I've ever done. Definitely. Yeah, it's it's really cool. So tell me about uh, you know how that came to be and like you know what was what yeah. was the inspiration for that? Yeah, so um, obviously RuneScape YouTube series are very oversaturated, right? There, there's it's mm -hmm. hard to find a new new series that people are going to cling to and and can help grow your channel because there's just so the game's been around for so long. People have you know seemingly done everything, but. Uh, I started a couple, I think like four years ago, I started watching a lot of MTV's, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of it, it's called The Challenge, and then they also have a show mm -hmm. called, obviously, Survivor, which you guys probably know, um, yeah. and then way back in the day, I, I, I watched uh, stuff called The Real World on MTV way back in the day, and uh, yeah. the um, I just always liked the reality show aspect, I always thought it was a, a really fascinating concept where, you know, depending on the type of show it was, you had challenges, eliminations, and stuff like that. Um, which I, for some reason, just like a year and a half ago, I'm like, dude, this could translate really well to like RuneScape. Um, yeah. and I, I contacted a bunch of other creators. I'm like, Hey, I, I have a, an idea for a show if you guys want to be on and everything. And, and for the most part, people are, you know, very friendly with each other. So like, yeah, we'll try it out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for about four and a half months, we just, we filmed these challenges, these eliminations. And I, I just told them that it was going to be a series I was doing. I don't think any of them knew that I was going to produce it the way I produced it, where it was going to be an actual like <laughs> reality show yeah. with like, you know, there's confessionals, yeah. there's, you know, there's intense music, there's like, you know, all this like, I'm right, editing it right. to make it seem like there's a lot of drama and stuff yeah. like that. And yeah, like a real, luckily, yeah. it's like a real reality yeah. show. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a real, I, I just tried emulating. I literally, I, I just took the script of a regular reality show and I just translate, I just put YouTube uh, RuneScape content into it yeah. and it ended up being something that people really liked. And, um, and it's, it was by far the hardest thing I've ever done, but it was extremely fun. I think people, uh, liked it and that's oh, why yeah. I'm, I'm super stoked to, to, for the second season to come out. Yeah. How much, so yeah. you got to know how much of it is actual, like challenges on because you could you could hear like it kind of switches over into like kind of a like a a, a discord call versus like mm -hmm. a lot of it you can tell it's just there for production like the confessionals as it seems like yeah. the confessionals might be like re-recorded afterwards like okay i mm -hmm. need you to say this all like how much of it is real versus how much of it is like after the fact where you just have people come back in and record something yeah, so what I have all the people do pretty much is, let's say it's day one, right? And and on the very first day of, of Gilinar Game Season 1, we had 12 people on. And I pretty much told them, 
uh, turn your recorders on, um, record the challenge that you guys have to do, and then send me your footage. Uh, and then afterwards, I would hop into a call with, with them, which each in, with each individual competitor, and I asked them questions mm -hmm. about the challenge that day. And that's where a lot of their confessional lines came from. So I would be like, uh, you know, I'd smart. be like, okay, so, you know, you guys had to do this today. At what point did you like have a hiccup? And then they would talk about their hiccup. And then I would use that, that they're what they talk about in that, you know, confessional in, in the actual video. Yeah. But then yeah. sometimes, sometimes it's very obvious that something is a bit scripted, right? Because yep. a lot of the times in these confessionals, you have to, you have to act like you're in the moment, um, even though you're, you're sitting in front of a camera, not in that moment, you know, you, you have to, they have to act like they're, you know, they have to say something like, you know, we're down right now, you know, I'm losing right now, but I have to pull it together and try to win this thing, even yeah, though it's, it's yeah. very obviously scripted. That's just kind of what they do in reality shows. And yeah. I tried making a, yeah, I tried doing the yeah. same thing. Um, just because uh, I think it makes it better, even if it is a little bit corny. Yeah. Was it a class mm. that you actually had in college, like how to do a reality TV show? Because it seems like very on point <laughs> for what you did compared to a real yeah. reality TV show. So I don't know if that was you know, trained or not. Yeah, I, I know. I literally just, I watched, like I said, the, the main uh, inspiration <laughs> for the show is just called a show called The Challenge on MTV. It's it's just a simple do the challenge and there's an elimination. Um, and I just copied the script and pretty much put YouTube instead of real life stuff into it. <laughs> and uh, that, that's where it all came from. That's yeah. great. I'm just mm -hmm. glad I was not in any of those challenges because I wouldn't have lasted very long. Even the trivia, I would have been out like you know it, the first question or two. Yeah, it's it's funny because it, obviously watching it, you're like, you know what, I could have done this, or you know, I I, I could have, I, I maybe, yeah, I could have done that. Yeah, or well, like you said, you couldn't have done this. I was like, so, no I, way, I could have done. It. Yeah, I would, I would have been. There's toast. a lot of comments that yeah. are like, dude, this guy's such an idiot, or this guy sucks at the game. Like, why didn't yeah. he do it well? It's like. Well, here's the thing, right? We all hop into a call. I give them five minutes to prepare, and then they have yeah. to do the challenge. And it's like that—that—that mm -hmm. that, that is like not easy, especially when there's eliminations on the line and there's you know other people trying to beat you out for a spot and stuff like yeah. that. It's, it's actually like, it's pretty intense and stuff like. And so it, it's it's definitely a, no joke. And and I, it, the second season that we just filmed is way more intense than the first season. Um, and it's incredibly, yeah. it's going to be super, super fun to watch. I'm, I'm stoked for, uh, for people to see it. What, uh, when, when are you shooting to, I mean, I, I, I hate asking this question, but mm -hmm. I have to ask, um, <laughs> sure. are you shooting for a release date for it? Like when, when can we expect yeah. to see it? Last week of August is my goal for the, the season to come out. Last season I was doing, I was editing between episodes and that was the worst idea possible because <laughs> I was just super stressed for like three months. This time I'm going to try to edit like five or six episodes before I release it. That way I have there the early go. episodes done because I'm going to yeah. go for weekly <laughs> releases this time. So yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I was going to say, I was, I was going to ask if you had like an editor or something because like I'm watching this, I'm like there's hours of footage that you're like, you're going through. And I'm like, that is, there's yeah. no way this guy's doing this all himself. And I'm like, you're fucking crazy, dude. That's, that's yeah. insane. <laughs> yeah. I, I was. I, I I did it all. I edited everything myself, all the music, all the clips, all that stuff, all the confessionals. I, I was kind of like a one man show for that. Wow. Um, but luckily, yeah, I true. just because like I, I kind of had a vision for it that I I, I didn't really know if mm -hmm. anybody else would follow. So I, that's why I kind of right, did it on my own. Right. But yeah. for the, se I mean, the yeah, second season, really I've got cool. like yeah. editors and I've, I've got oh. um, graphic designers, animators and stuff like oh, that. Wow, you're going all so it's, yeah, it's going to be a much better, much better process. Oh, that's great. So I got to ask cool. you now, with with all the stuff that you're saying that you're doing by yourself, how do you avoid mm -hmm. burnout? Because that was my biggest problem is just doing all the work myself. It was, I burned myself out. So do you have a, a secret for, for keeping interested in this stuff and, and doing it over and over? Yeah, it's a good, good question. I, I, I just have, uh, I don't know, it's just like a passion for creating content um, just, that I've just really enjoyed. To me, actually, the biggest thing that made me stop burning out was just to stop streaming on Twitch, honestly, <laughs> as funny as it is, because <laughs> if you want to be consistent on YouTube, right, if you're trying to put out a YouTube video every week or two, and then you're streaming yeah. on top of it, it's so much RuneScape, dude. Like, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, I, I'm, yeah. I'm not a type of guy, and maybe you guys probably relate to this, but I'm not a type of guy who plays the game 10 hours a day, and then also <laughs> puts out a video and streams all the time, too. It's like, that's just way too much for me. Oh, um, yeah. People are, yeah. always ask me, like, when, are you ever going to max? I'm like, no, I'm not going to max an account. Dude. I'm not, <laughs> You're my kind I'm, of guy, all right. <laughs> like, I'm not going to I'm not gonna yeah, sit for yeah. 70 hours and get 90 agility, 99 agility or something, you know? So it's just, yeah. just maybe, maybe if I'm, when I'm old down the line and I, and I want to, but right. at the moment, no, it's just... 
I, honestly, it's just this, the simple advice of if you, if you ever, ever feel burnt out, just take a break. You know, don't force yourself to mm-hmm. play, and it'll be a uh, you'll eventually get the the motivation to play again. Yeah. So if you could go back ten years and give your video making self advice, what would you tell them? <laughs> good question, man. Um, that's a very good question. I've never even really thought about this. If I had to tell my self ten years ago, what would I change? Um, <laughs> honestly, man, there's. I can't say there's much I would change right now. Uh, maybe get a better microphone earlier on or something. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people always always ask me, like, I don't know if you guys know, but when Old School RuneScape came out, I made a bunch of quest guides for the game when it came out mm-hmm. and um, yeah. uploaded, like, 100 quest guides in a month and a half. Like, I went absolutely crazy oh uh, because, yeah. you know, people were searching for this stuff, and I uploaded, like, a Waterfall Quest quest guide. It got, like... 50k views in a day which for me on seven and a half k subs back then i was like dude that is insane yeah so i started yeah. putting more and more out and over time the quest guys became pretty irrelevant because items started coming out into the game that weren't around back then for when i made the quest guides and i started getting these comments like why didn't you tell us to bring stamina potions <laughs> you know well i don't know because stamina yeah. potions weren't out when i made the guy like i don't tell you. <laughs> Obviously, I, yeah, they weren't amazing guides. I made a bunch of mistakes back then. And people were like, do you regret making them? And I'm like, no, not at all. Like, they, they helped boost my channel and stuff like that. So it's, mm-hmm. uh, I, I guess every every upload I've done has, has led to this point. So I, I can't regret too much. That's great. Yeah. Hey, that means you're doing something right then. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're not looking back. and Because I can think of like a thousand things where I'm just like, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't talk <laughs> to this person. Especially not that person. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, there's uh that's. No, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say it's, it's just refreshing to hear. Uh, sorry, mm-hmm. finish your thought. I, I keep I keep cutting you off. I'm sorry. No, no, it's, it's completely <laughs> okay. I I enjoy it actually. Uh, it's uh, yeah, like I said, I, there's not much that I, I would say I regret at the moment, but I probably could think of a few. I, I just can't think of them on the spot mm-hmm. right now. That's great though, because I can uh, go back and like if I were to go back and talk to myself ten years ago, I would talk nonstop of all the things I did <laughs> wrong because I did just about everything wrong. So that's great that yeah. you you feel like you've what you've done is mm-hmm. has been the right thing and that you're you're still like doing what you want to do if yeah. actually, that's another question too if 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 you could do like if i could give you a million subs and you could do whatever you wanted to do what is it that you would want to do oh good question a million subs huh uh yeah they'll, they'll to the point where you don't have to worry about no making content it, like yeah. to, that the people want you could just do what you enjoy and you don't have to worry about getting uh, like they will watch yourself. literally whatever you do yeah yeah, yeah good question <laughs> honestly like the if i i would continue with gilinar games honestly man if i had a if i had a bigger audience for it and um nice. and i could if if i could get like a whole production team behind it where <laughs> it's to the point where i'm just like Oh, like man. I would just hire a production team to do all the editing for me. I would just be the guy who's mm-hmm. telling people what to do and and maybe like do the direction or have the, the be the the guy behind the direction of the series. I would, I would continue to do it just because yeah. it's just super fun. I haven't really ever de- uh, delved out into other content before. It, it scares me a little bit. Mm. I, I think you guys know, especially with RuneScape YouTube, it's like if somebody tries something else with oh, a different yeah. game, there's usually a lot of harsh backlash that comes behind yeah, it. I don't, oh, yeah, no, I don't oh, know what yeah. you're talking about. It's, it's, it's totally fun. <laughs> it'd be fun if you yeah, do that. you know, Minecraft, Fortnite, all that stuff. That's totally so cool, yeah. Like, they're, they're, everyone yeah, rallies around yeah. that. <laughs> Luckily, um, recently, uh, you know, Jimmy, he's been doing, he does a, a different video every now and then on a different game, and they do really well. And um, it's, it's refreshing been, to see. Doing Valheim. Yeah, exactly. Like that, yeah. It's refreshing to see. So. He's, he popped by my um, chat, by the way, and he, he wanted to say something about loving something, but I don't want to repeat that. Oh, so. cool. Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> that, that's a, a classic, classic soup quote. And, uh, yeah. If you, do, you guys, do you guys know the story behind that? No, yeah. D- tell us. Wait. Okay. Do you guys, so I pretty much, am I allowed to like say a bad word on this or? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Say whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. So I pretty much 2017 or so, um, Mod Ronan was one of the mods back then. He was the community manager for Old School RuneScape. And he was doing a community stream where he was dropping um, Halloween masks around the game and stuff like that. And he was streaming on the RuneScape channel on Twitch. Now, he was streaming with another JMod in a, in a Discord channel that I was, or in a Discord uh, server that I was, I was a part of. And I had just gotten back from class that day. I hopped on my computer and I saw the, the, the they were both my friends, the JMod. So I, they, I saw they were in a channel together. And I'm like, oh, sweet. Like, my boys are online. My friends are online. So... <laughs> 
that that day I had just oh, no. finished. I was Thursday. I just finished classes for the day. I had a three day weekend. No classes on Friday, which is the best thing ever. I had stopped at Starbucks. Yeah. I got I got like a frap and a donut. I was feeling amazing. Uh, so I hop on my yeah. computer. I see them online. I join the channel. I'm like, yo, boys, uh, I love the pose. Like, let's go. <laughs> just like, like, like you guys know when you hop in a call with somebody and you're like, you you guys just you say dumb shit all you know to yeah, your friends. It's just like, boys, yeah. yeah, it's your boys. Yeah, you, it's your boys you just say yeah. something stupid yeah. to announce that you're in the call. <laughs> And I, I just yell that like with the a perfect like vibrato and all this stuff. And I'm and they're yeah. like and he just says, Stefan, we're streaming on the RuneScape <laughs> channel. And I was like, I was like, what are you I was like, no, you're not. Kicks me kicks me from the channel. And I, I thought he was trolling me. And I, I I hop on Twitch, I go to the RuneScape channel, and the chat is just going nuts. Like, there's like there's like 10k viewers, and I'm like, oh my god. Like, I thought that was the end of my. I thought that was the end of my like my career. I, I thought I, would, yeah. I thought I would get banned. There's my band. I thought, yeah, yeah my, like I yeah. thought they would just. I I literally got off my computer and I laid on my floor for 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, ru- Like I did. I just ruined it. And then the worst thing was was that the co- the the stream finally ends and he he DMs me on Discord. He's like. He's like, get into the call now, like dot dot, <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, dude! I hop into the call, and they are they are in tears, laughing about what happened. <laughs> I like, I I had I had other JMods DMing me like Lamau, all this stuff, and and they're oh, like, dude, no, they're, okay, they're like, okay. yeah, they're like, dude, we don't care, like that was hilarious, and I was like, <laughs> yeah. wow. And then to this day, that clip is still the most viewed clip on the RuneScape channel on Twitch. So like that is that Wait, is yeah. That is uh, like my buddy is in the chat. He said it's the second most viewed Twitch clip of all time. Yeah, I, I can link it for you guys. Maybe you guys oh, can yeah, watch I gotta one. check that yeah. out. That's that's an amazing story. It's um, <laughs> I'm literally yeah, wiping yeah. tears away because I'm laughing so hard. Now too. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll DM that's it to so you. Good, I'll DM it to you, and you can. It's like a just like a 25 second clip, but it's uh, yeah, it's still one of the funniest things that happens. <laughs> well, honestly. I don't like listening to it because it brings back bad memories, but a, a lot of people love listening to it. So it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's funny. I guess it was 2016. Oh, We're coming up on the five year. That's crazy. Oh, that's so yeah, crazy. that was the story yeah. behind that. So is that, would you say that's the what? pinnacle of your, your career or do you have another the moment? Pinnacle? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly? Uh, yeah. yeah. I could say that's the peak. I could say that's the peak. Yeah. It'll never hit again. Oh, man. Yeah. Do you have anything else yeah. that like hits close to that that you could say would like you could at least tell your mom, yeah, this is the pinnacle of my career. That's screaming. <laughs> well, it's yeah. funny because I, I like meme about it on Twitter every now and then, right? And uh-huh. my yeah. sister fo- my sister follows me on Twitter and she's like like, why do you always tweet about loving the pussy? <laughs> like all this stuff. But I'm like, it's like, it's just like, uh, I'll tell you what happened. Yeah. It's 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 kind yeah. of it's kind of uncomfortable to talk about with them. But uh, yeah. yeah, no, I, I don't think anything's gonna beat that. And, and like I said, we're coming up on the, there's like an anniversary of it now, which is coming up. So <laughs> hey. we're, we're thinking about hey, recreating yeah, in, it somehow. In game event. What? It sounds like a good yeah, in game event. event. Make a quest. For I that. should. There you go. I should, uh, yeah, I should ask Jagex to let us on the the, ch- the channel for the day, and we we can we can play around with it. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, yeah, that that's what I'm known for my my quest guides and yelling pussy on the Runescape last year. Awesome, yeah. that's quite the legacy. That's a, that's amazing. Yeah. I wish I could. I've left could my mark. The same, but yeah, mm-hmm. I, I just have a yeah. uh, yeah. eye of yeah. Oculus. That's that's nothing compared to that. That's, that's great. <laughs> the chat said it's a it's. Uh, Wooks gets infernal is the most viewed Twitch clip in RuneScape, and then it's it's the I love the pussy. That's ah, so is it? Good, dude. Damn, unfortunate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we, we we've been overtaken. We've been overtaken. Well, now you have to one up. You have to one up Wooks and like just find something obscene to shout in the next like <laughs> Nagex live stream. Yeah, yeah. You got some. You got some time to think about it. Yeah, we'll have to. I, I don't know if I can say any other bad words, but I'll, I'll have to think of something a bit more clever. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I did want to, you know, speaking of, I did want to ask because, you know, you've, you've been in the scene for a while and yeah, um, right. I, I feel like Jagex has been doing a little bit more for like creators or maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. That's just like from the outside looking in, but like, have you gotten any like official recognition from like the company or like mm-hmm. anything that they've like asked you to like help out with in terms of just like content or, uh, cause they, they did some of that stuff with us like back in the day, but I don't really know like what they're doing these days. Uh, mm-hmm. and I know they reached out to like Jimmy for like some videos, but like, I feel like pretty good foothold in the community and your editing style is fantastic. And like, thanks. I feel like, I feel like they should give you some proper recognition. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, thanks man. 
Yeah, well, they um something they started doing like four or five years ago is they started inviting people out to RuneFest, which is really cool. Like mm-hmm. they would they pay for a plane ticket for creators from the U.S., for example, to fly out to RuneFest and, and meet everybody mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And that's where it was. It started. It, it was really cool to get recognition from the company that you know created uh, old school RuneScape or RuneScape oh, and stuff yeah. like that. And and then recently they've started being a lot. They they created like a Discord channel for all the creators and stuff like that. So we have a nice um, mm-hmm. you know mode to communicate with them and stuff like that. Um, I think they actually have like a, a head of influencers now over there. So they, you know, th- there's a guy that, ex- you know, is there to exclusively, um, you know, work with us and, and get our feedback and stuff like that, mm-hmm. which is really cool. Um, That's good. biggest thing though, is, uh, I'd say the the golden gnome nominations are always really big, you know, uh, have you, know, have you won one yet? No, nah, I've been nominated uh, three times. I haven't won yet. Oh uh, man. Yeah. Join the crowd. So, yeah. <laughs> Dude, <That's> <laughs> wait. Yeah. Uh, it, so wait, you put out the Gilnor Games win. Are they eligible to win? Yeah. So this coming year. Yeah. So they actually Gilnor Games got nominated last year but lost. Uh, oh so, man. What the fuck? Yeah. What won? That's fucked up. Who? Wait. Who won? Well, who do we have to fucking beat up? <laughs> it was uh, <laughs> the video that won was by Randy and Exact, and they made a video about getting a fire cape on a level three, which was a really good video. Oh wow. Um, the it was a the way they do golden gnomes nowadays is it's a fan vote so pretty much oh, they man. put out a poll and and viewers vote mm-hmm. on on who they think deserves yeah. uh, to win Kyle will complain um, about that he doesn't like that either <laughs> so <laughs> yeah uh but like I said I I like them so I was really happy that they got one but uh yeah m- me and framed are, are still in the hunt for really? our first ones wow. if that ever happens so, yeah. really mm-hmm. okay. yeah we'll see we'll see I feel like Here, I'm an elite company now. You, least, do. you and uh framed <laughs> Kyle's got one, yeah. so he's 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 not allowed to have the crowd. Um, ah, man, I don't know if you know lucky. Regicidal yeah, I, or I, not, but we yeah, were going to start Regicidal, a new podcast yeah, sure. called called like No Gnomes. That'll just be the name of our no podcast. Gnomes. And just nice. me, no, no more. me and him, you, you're you welcome. Frame can come on. We could we could of all course. just run it, kick Kyle out because he's already won one. He's he just <laughs> flaunts it whenever right, he can. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, it just shows well, that it, it, it. Sorry, it just shows like how great content has become these days, oh, right? Where yeah. There's just like so, there's so many people who deserve to be nominated and get nominated mm-hmm. and stuff like that. It's, content these days is is truly a, a sight to behold with with how good a lot of it's become. Yeah. Well, let me know next yeah. time you get nominated, yeah. and uh, we'll we'll start a, a ballot box stuffing. <laughs> I appreciate that uh, campaign Thank you for guys. you. Right. Yeah. And, yeah. and we'll get it. Not I appreciate that, that. I'm sure my 23 viewers now will will love to <laughs> stuff the box for you, but we'll we'll do hey. our part anyway. Like I said, I can slide some bonds, some bonds your way too. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll figure we'll figure it out. <laughs> there we go. It's under it's all under the table, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So, uh, um, in addition to like the gold gnomes, so the gold gnomes kind of like a, a company recognition. But I'm just curious: have you ever gotten like a comment or anything from a fan? What would you say your greatest comment from a fan that you've seen, like on reading YouTube comments, if you can even remember? Greatest anything? comment. Ah, uh, good question, man. I, I, by um, the way, I love the fact that you keep saying great question to everything i'm yeah, saying it makes, makes me feel, feel like good. i know what i'm doing but <laughs> yeah i mean I've done, that... <laughs> I've, done, I've done a couple of podcasts but you know a lot of first time questions here which is really good uh greatest comment of all time honestly if you look through any of my quest guide comments those are honestly really really awesome comments they're just people find really creative ways to diss my quest guys which is always really fun um <laughs> a, lot people, a lot of people say that uh my, my quest guide comment sections are like a battleground and stuff like that which is really good <laughs> uh greatest <laughs> comment of all time though man yeah yeah good question I, I don't think i know actually at the moment um any good comment i get about my video complimenting it is, is, is a great comment we'll put it that way <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, one way to put it yeah we'll take it go ahead kyle you were about to ask something i, I stepped all over you I, once again yeah, it's it's all right i just had a uh it's more of like an observation it was just like um you know i'm just i i guess i'm just really shocked you know i when I stopped making RuneScape videos around like 2012, I didn't really think that almost 10 years later that the demand for RuneScape videos would be arguably higher than it was back in the day. Um, and it's just, it's absolutely insane mm-hmm. uh, to see that. And I'm, I'm really glad to see that like, you know, really talented and creative content creators like yourself are, nice. are you know, coming out and, you know, able to make this into a full-time career. Like it almost makes me want to get back into it and like give yeah. it a shot. I'm like, you know, there's things are really changed for the better or so it seems. Mm-hmm. So like, is there, is there anything that like, like, do you have any gripes with like the video making process or the community or is there like anything that like is kind of out of your control that like you wish was better in terms mm-hmm. of like RuneScape content creation, you know, either it's like demand or uh, perception. I think you mentioned like you wish that, you know, other people would 
uh, be more receptive to like playing other games. But like, mm-hmm. is there anything else that kind of comes to mind? Yeah, good question. So I keep saying good questions. Actually, these <laughs> no, are all yeah, good I, questions. We like it. I, I, I like the fact yeah. that you're saying yeah. good questions. Yeah. Huh? I like starting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a very good it. question. Yeah. Honestly, like the, the biggest gripe I have with when it comes to making videos for RuneScape is honestly through, because of YouTube and not because of like the RuneScape community. YouTube itself has just changed so much. Um, right, for example, right. like these days, you pretty much have to make videos that are above eight to ten minutes long for yeah. for your video to do well. You you, you need to hit the recommended. Yeah, YouTube is just is has it? YouTube has this thing where it's like the longer that a, the longer a, a watcher stays on the platform, the the more the likely they are to recommend the video because YouTube wants somebody to stay on their platform as long as possible. Well, the right? more ads so, they can shove into the video, if it's yeah, long exactly, video, so. and the more ads in a video. So you know, if somebody makes like a two minute video, uh, it only keeps them. It technically it only keeps that a person on the platform for two minutes. But if somebody makes a ten minute right. video. It'll keep them on the platform for ten minutes if they watch the entire thing. Right. And YouTube is all about watch time and and keeping people on the platform so they can watch more ads and and binge and binge videos on the website and stuff like that. So it kind of sucks because you it went from you can create a, a funny you know one to two three minute video that you want to upload that you think's worth uploading to. It's like well is this video going to even do well because it's not going to hit recommended? Mm-hmm. People aren't going to watch it for as long. Is YouTube even going to put it in a sub box? Like you don't know. So wow. it, it's <laughs> yeah. gone to the point where it's like you kind of have to you have to like make a uh, 10 minute video pretty much, which is good for the viewers, I guess, because it's more content for them to watch. But it's also mm-hmm. like a lot of the creative stuff ends up not coming out because they, they you know, it, it's too short or, or people, they, they right. think people don't right. want to watch it. So you know how it was back then. A lot of the RuneScape videos were just like one to four minute videos that people would put out. Or, um, yeah, exactly. So it's, uh, however, that's, my, that's my biggest gripe. However long the song was anyway. Yeah, exactly. Over long the song was. <laughs> yeah, obviously RSMVs aren't even a thing anymore because everything's cop- copyright yeah, exactly. striked and all that yeah. stuff. So it's yeah. Yeah, yeah, you gotta miss those. We were joking yeah, with Dark I, Arm I Three. That, that was... I was just saying we we're joking no, with Dark ahead, Arm Jay. Three that uh, uh, YouTube was built on RSMVs, so they shouldn't have uh, started copyright yeah. striking them. They, they would have wouldn't have been where they are today right. without RSMVs. Yeah, but, it's truly it's annoying. I, I wish <laughs> I wish there was a, a way for for creators and you and people who make videos to to be able to use these popular songs and still monetize the video. I feel like it's just a yeah. super missed opportunity that's just controlled by, uh, you know, the companies that control copyright and want to just squeeze out every penny from, from creators, which is, uh, which is really frustrating. So yeah, I agree. But I, like I said, that that's not, that's not a, anything, I guess, RuneScape related. That's all mainly on YouTube. Uh, as far as like, so you say YouTube's kind of a big challenge. Is there any challenges that you find with video making itself? Uh, yeah, every Adobe product sucks, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it, I hate, like, yeah, just, just, I mean, honestly, Adobe Premiere, like, I like Premiere, a lot of it's great, but Adobe is, has become, to, you know, you have to pay monthly now to use Adobe things. Yeah, oh, purchase, God, I hate that, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's, it's, it's subscription like, mode. It, I, yeah, and I feel like every month it just goes up by, like, five bucks, and it's just like, <laughs> why is this going up, yeah. and then just all these crashes all the time, and, like, I opened up, I used After Effects for a couple of things last season of, of Gilnar Games, and God, that program just, I feel like I need a supercomputer to run that program. It's, <laughs> it's just absurd. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, luckily RuneScape videos are fairly simple to make. Like, there's a, there's a if you want to, you can, like, follow a formula if, you, if you're just, like, a, an Iron Man YouTuber or you just want to, you know, c- copy and paste progress clips. It's, it's a pretty simple formula. You know, you just, you got a simple audio track and a video track, and that's your video, right? But if you're doing, you know, a bigger production and, and you want, um, you know, a lot more in your video, then I, I think it's, you know, safe to say that you'll need a program like Sony Vegas or Premiere, um, that, you know, to, to really make a video like that. But mm-hmm. yeah, that my, my, my biggest annoying thing is sometimes working with the Adobe product. Oh, I get you there. It's yeah. <laughs> especially with that monthly fee, but yeah, it's just like, man, as far as yeah. your video making like skills, um, or even like your Twitch streaming skills, is there anything that you'd say you're just not good at that you e- either just haven't learned it enough or that you'll just never get better at? Hmm. Anything I'm not great at. For, for, uh, for, like, for I, example, for me, I'm like terrible at speaking off the cuff. So I'm, I'm not very hmm. good at doing Twitch streams. I'm kind of learning it, but I don't think I'll ever get to the point where I can come up with a joke like on the spot. Like you need to, when you're doing Twitch streams and I, you can see I'm like mm-hmm. stumbling over my words. That's that's why I'm not good at doing Twitch streams, but, Mm. um, like I'm trying it out. I'm trying to get better, but I mean, is there anything like that where you 
just feel like you like your some sort of editing skill or or talents that some mm-hmm. people have that you just feel like you don't have or anything like I, that. I I actually think I think I'm perfect in everything. Honestly, no, I'm just kidding. I, no, I, <laughs> Good answer. I, I, That's uh, great. <laughs> yeah, no, I I think I guess let's okay. I'll I'll think of two things that 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 I, I wish I were better at. The first one is. I wish I was just better at RuneScape in general, right? I feel like if I just like that's, was better that's at the a game, good one. Yeah. Like, I feel like if I just, <laughs> for example, people are very efficient these days in the game, right? They're, they've they've perfected tick manipulation to get 200k XP an hour in certain skills, wow. which was never possible <clears throat> 10 years ago, obviously. And if well, we you call know that the ticks, botting can... back in the day, but yeah, I, I <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, some of these methods these days are truly crossing the line of is this like is this allowed? Like this is crazy, you know. <laughs> right. So it's uh, right. clicking fourteen different things before you click a fishing spot to gain an extra ten XP. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's like I I don't for I can't do that. And second, I just don't want to do that. Honestly, yeah. like I just right. that's just too much for me. And I, I guess I wish I was willing. I wish I was willing to be like way better at the game, but. I've come to, it kind of right. just accepted that I, I, my, my creative and my creative aspect is better than my, my in-game skill and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I and mean, I guess the sec, yeah, yeah go ahead. Sorry. No, go ahead. No, I'll just say whatever, whatever it is, uh, or whatever it takes to make the game fun for you. You know, you don't want to make it, yeah. you want to ruin it for yourself. Yeah, exactly. Like s- some people are, are very willing to sit down and, and get 200 mil mining in a, you know, in a couple months. And it's like, if that's what floats your boat, you know, Go ahead, you know, hop on the boat. <laughs> right. But for me, I'll I'll yeah, sit on yeah, yeah. I'll sit on shore and drink a beer and not do that, you know. So I'm I'm good. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah. And then I guess the second thing is I'm super bad at reading out scripts. Like I, mm-hmm. whenever I, I'm recording uh, one of my scripts, I'll I'll stutter. Like you said, I'll stutter. I'll mess up. I'll have to end up redoing the entire thing because I don't think it sounds good. Um. So if I mm-hmm. if I read out a script for like a ten minute video, it'll take hours for me to to read it all through because. Either A, I'll just start laughing randomly for some reason. I don't know why. Or B, um, like I'll start laughing at how often I mess up, which just ends yeah. up being even more funny. It's like, dude, I, I suck <laughs> it so bad. Uh, yeah. So like and the then video sometimes... essay stuff where you're like reading out a long kind of essay. Yeah. Okay. Like I feel like some people can just knock out an entire video script in one go. Yeah. But it's like for me, it's just, no, I, I need, it takes, I, I need, I, I have to stop every couple sentences because I'm like, was that good? Is that, is that bad? I don't know. <laughs> Who wrote this so, stuff? My gosh. <laughs> yeah. And like you said, that's why I like videos because you can make those edits, but on yep. stream, like you can't, you can't undo a stream, which is saying stuff like that. Right. So it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very like if I could have undo, uh, undid when I said, you know, I love the pussy, I may have edited that out, but I can't because it's on stream. <laughs> it's you know? live. So, sorry. You gotta, yeah, you gotta it's live. It. It's, it's permanent. <laughs> it's, it's permanent. So that's yeah. not going yeah. away. Uh, I, have to, I have to ask about, you know, I, I think the thing that really, uh, you know, killed it for Jason and I was just, game wasn't really fun for us anymore and like mm-hmm. you know i i kind of want to i don't want to assume but like has has the game has it has it worn off any like i mean it's been about you said you started playing around 2008 so it's been about yeah. 12 or 13 years you know being on the game like has it has has the magic worn off you know what is it still like saying fresh with the updates you know what's what's your current opinion and like the state of the game yeah, I mean, over the years, I think I've made three quitting videos on my YouTube channel. <laughs> like, I, I, you guys all, you guys, me too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys, like those are those were very popular to put out. Like, guys, I'm quitting. I'm never coming back. And then month yeah. later, you're like, you're fucking back at Black Dragons. And you're like, I'm back, you guys, making money. I'm and back, you're like, baby. yeah, I'm back. Like, I, I'm not going anywhere this time. And then you know, another quitting video comes out, stuff like that. Uh, but I, I think the biggest thing. Honestly, the game has been pretty consistent with updates. I think they've done a good job over the years to keep you know, putting out a good update every year or two. Recently, the game has been in a bit of a lull. There's not a lot of updates that have come out, um, and a lot yeah. of people are mad. I, I don't want to go too harsh on Jagex because the whole pandemic, I think, has hit them a little bit. They can't work in the office and stuff like that, which probably stinks. Uh, yeah. um, I, I think they do a, a pretty decent job. Uh, a lot of things they don't do well, obviously, like PvP has, is the, at its lowest point it's ever been. Um, a lot of PVM yeah. updates haven't come out recently and stuff like that. So that makes it difficult, I guess, for a lot of players to continue playing. Luckily, when it comes to a content creator and it's your full-time job, like you kind of have to find ways to make it entertaining. You know, you have to, right. you right. have to, if, if, if the, one of the biggest thing actually that, that has been helping is because of these sponsors telling you, we need to have a video out on this day. Oh gosh. It kind of forces you, it kind of forces you to be like, okay, I, I have to, yeah, yeah. it's like, it's like, it's a job, you know, it forces yeah. you to be, get yeah. creative and, and put, <laughs> and put out a good video for people to watch. And Mowing you know, the grass the video and does well. go 10 minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so yeah. And luckily, like I said, the, 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 
the biggest thing for me that's helped uh, keep the game fun is just doing something like Gilnar games where I have people play the game for me. I just have to edit, you know, <laughs> which is uh, which is great. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, I just have, you know, 20 perspectives in front of me and I can watch what they do and, and play the game that way. So it's uh, right. yeah, right. I think the biggest thing is just making your own fun. It's it's a it's like a sandbox game, RuneScape. You can make your own fun. Yeah, yeah. who would have yeah. who would have thought that five years ago, the most popular series of all time would be a guy who plays um, on an account in Mauritania only, right? It's just like, oh, wow. um, right. it's just, I guarantee you in a couple of years, new series will come out. People are like, why did nobody ever think of this? So it's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's the great thing about it. open sandbox games and why it's so good for, or conducive for video making. It's just, it's just so much you can do with it. And yeah. if you think of something, you can right. make a video of it and, and who knows, it, it can be popular overnight. Like you're saying. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah exactly I mean, so much of it is the community i feel like it's like you know i i don't even know if runescape would be in its state you know if we didn't have like such a big following for like i didn't i couldn't believe how popular uh swamp Letics was yeah, yeah. Uh, it, like it like even back then i was just like wow really people really they really still care about this game i'm like that's incredible like that's mm -hmm. great like i was kind of moving on from runescape at that point and now i'm like all right, people are, are still like going at it and like they're still enjoying the content in it. And I'm like, that's that's fucking phenomenal. Like again, mm -hmm. it just it makes me want to get back into things because you guys uh, should, man. You should. Yeah, it, it seems <laughs> like, a like a renaissance, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, a whole time exactly. crunch for thing for me. I'm I'm lucky to get two hours on a Saturday to sit down and talk to people, mm -hmm. but this is the extent of what right. I can do these days. But yeah, if yeah. I if I could get some time, it'd be great to to get back into it. You, is there just pull the classic yeah. hey, i'm gonna quit my job and do it full time you know you just, no just, no no easy. i cannot <laughs> I, I make way too much money in my job and i have to support a family ah, so i, I can't nice. there's a, a bit of a gap yeah. before yeah. it's <laughs> i'd have to make I up that. quite I a respect bit of money it. before it would work for me so but yeah other than that here's what you do jason you gotta you gotta do like a runescape style quitting at your job where you're like you're like okay i'm quitting and then two weeks later you come back like nothing ever happened <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly it's perfect <laughs> so other than runescape are you playing anything else like on the side or you mm -hmm. don't have to you don't have to admit it if you're worried that your your subscriber base <laughs> no, will worry. quit on you but is there are you, are you <laughs> no, doing anything worry. else uh like on the side any, any mistresses game mistresses <laughs> now i'm very open about uh, about other games that i play um recently it's it's been i've been a bit more busy with um editing and all that stuff but i always i always play a game of csgo every week no matter what oh yes yeah, jimmy oh, jimmy's oh, into yeah, that dude. too yeah huge huge i've been playing for CSGO. for a long long time I, I really like csgo back in the day i played uh, a bunch of league of legends i don't really play that game anymore um nice. i also when the whole battle royale thing was was just getting started i played a lot of like h1z1 and PUBG. Uh, oh, which, dude, which is really fun yeah, yeah h1 is one of my favorite games ever and then it died which sucks uh, but i really <laughs> yeah. really enjoyed it um but yeah these days with with uh you know with runescape becoming more of like a truly a full-time job i'm I mainly i'm just sticking with playing the game and, and editing most of the time oh, that's great yeah i should play yeah. you in csgo sometime though i i played Ooh, yeah. i actually played counter strike uh, or now it's called like counter strike source i think mm -hmm. like the CS original source, counter strike yeah. oh, you you, you played, played 1.6? 1.6. 1. 1. I used to, yeah. yeah, I played 1.6 when it wasn't called 1.6. It was like oh, okay. <laughs> the original. But I yeah. I played competitively at one point where we were in like cool. leagues and the, like the winners would get money and things like that. But I'm oh, sure I'm awesome. I'm terrible now. I mean, I used to go around <laughs> and like I wouldn't even use a gun. I just go around and stab people because it'd be so like tunnel focused on, on certain yeah. people. You can go around and yeah. stab them in the back and see how many people you can get before they notice <laughs> someone was there stabbing everybody. But yep um yeah. yeah those are the i'm probably maybe, terrible maybe we, now, have but... to rethink the, uh, we have to rethink the boomerscape among us we were gonna do an among us game but like now oh, i'm cool. thinking we should just do counter-strike dude yeah, yeah. Just get everyone, <laughs> get all the do a big fucking 5v5 that'd be a blast dude. that would be good yeah <laughs> I, there's a lot of people that play cs yeah i think people would be really fun yeah, I should, um should see yeah. if says plays that he he wanted to do among us because that's his 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 jam is among us so i was like oh maybe mm. we should get a big oh yeah, yeah. let's see if he plays by CSK the way little. jason has fucking zezim on speed, <laughs> on dial, speed dial but he won't okay <laughs> dang man <laughs> that alone could get you full-time youtube if you tell people that right there man that <laughs> no. oh man you'd be good to go nah, that's uh he likes to do his own yeah. thing so i don't i don't bother him but mm -hmm. he he, he uh, kind of likes to stay out of the limelight yeah but, no i respect that no, I, one of one of the things I've always wanted to do was just play a, pr a proper LAN, right? Like 
go oh, yeah. somewhere, set up computers, play like at a five v five in a room. I've only ever done it once before, oh, um, like at Rune Fest. It was, yeah, yeah. I, I remember <laughs> I I was on stage to play in one of the Dead Men mode games, and I wish it was a CS game. I would have done so much better. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I, I think playing on stage is really fun, and, or just like playing in a room with other people is really fun. Old school LAN parties. Yeah, we used to yeah. do that way back in the day. But yeah. I did it with uh, so I did now. it with Age of Empires way back in the day with my oh, friends when Empires. I first started. Oh, that's a fun yeah. game, yeah. Super fun, yeah, super super fun. Once we're all vaccinated, we'll uh, we'll get all you guys in a room. We'll play some. C we'll do the the official boomer let's, escape. Let's all go to Rune Fest and then like get ten computers and then play <laughs> and something play, that's and not in CS. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That would be awesome. That would, Honestly, that's why you guys out here for. <laughs> that could be the play, man. That could be the play. I think you're yeah, onto something. <laughs> so we're at uh, the top of the hour. Kyle, Kyle, is there any other last minute questions you you want to ask here before we go into our streaming format? Uh, no, this was a fantastic episode. Oh my gosh, yeah, it was. Um, so yeah, I I want to thank Soup for yeah, coming man. on the show. You were a fantastic guest. It was thank an you very much. Pleasure to you and uh it sounds like you have a, a video coming out today is there anything that you want to plug or or uh promote? um well yeah first of all thanks to you guys i love talking old school runescape i love talking you know old you know the nostalgic runescape days all that stuff so it's uh, nice to talk to you guys and um thanks him for having me on uh no if you guys want to check me out um soup rs on youtube and twitter and uh yeah gilinor game season two coming out later this year get ready for it all right we'll do it sounds great can't wait to watch it Thanks. Thanks again, man. Yep. Have a good one, guys.